Hello everybody, this is Farjana. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make scrolling images to your portfolio section using DV Blurb module. So this is a requested video. Several people asked me how did I make my website portfolio section like this. So in today's tutorial, I will show you how to customize portfolio images in this way using DV Blurb module. So let's dive into this and let's get started. So first I am taking a new section here. I am taking a regular section and under this I am just taking a new row with uh, three or four columns. So I am just taking here for now four columns and here I'm taking a blurb module and here I'm just adding a title such as uh, DV website and removing the text from here and adding a portfolio image okay so just save it and I'm just making some duplicate here Okay, so now I'm taking a class name for this module. So I'm going to Blurb module settings and going to advanced option. So here I'm just taking a CSS class named portfolio. And doing the same for all module. So I'm just going to copy module style and paste it to all module okay so now I'm going to save it and now I'm going to my dashboard and here I'm going to install a new plugin. So I'm going to now plugin and add new option. Here I am searching for scroll bar. And here you can see a new plugin to custom scroll bar. So I'm going to install install this plugin now. then activate it and then uh, we are going to, going to our plugin settings page and here is settings option so here we have to put any name such as we are adding here portfolio and here we have to add our target element selector so here I'm adding just portfolio first name and then I have to add the I'm going to the page view and from here I'm going to inspect element and trying to get the class name which grabs this image so here is our image and this is the span area which grabbing our image so we are just taking this class name here and adding this class name after portfolio so dot and yeah, class name okay so here we have to add element height so we are just going to our height to let's try with 250 pixel 
and you can set also width so for now I'm just uh, skipping it and others uh, here is more many options here to customize it and just keeping it same here for now uh, position you can set inside or outside for the scroll bar and here I can change uh, theme style so here is light by default but I like here to go minimal dark option so now I'm going to save the changes and now I'm going to visit our portfolios page just going to refresh it and yes it looks so amazing now we can scroll our images from here you can see our full image view and it looks so amazing to me okay so I think here it still needs some improvement so I'm, I'm going to our visual option again and need to add some CSS here I'm going to our visual builder now again okay so now I'm going to add some CSS here I'm going to player settings and going to advanced option and clicking on custom CSS then I'm going to lab content and adding here some box shadow okay so here we can see here is adding some three layer shadow which looking straight and we can add some spacing with our title so I'm going to title black title so I'm adding some padding here so I'm adding padding top to okay and we can add top padding to 20 pixel and left right 15 pixel okay and just you can here for blurb image you can add margin bottom margin bottom to zero pixel okay so I think it's looking yeah or we can just add here try with 15 pixel for all spaces yes it's looking great now and we can just copy this module style and paste it to others paste style and paste style here and doing it here and then I'm going to this row settings and from sizing here I'm going to gutter width and I'm just decreasing it deep to 2 so there is less spacing now between images I'm going to save it and check it again I'm going to refresh it yes so now our portfolio images is looking amazing it's looking really great so here is all for today's tutorial if you like my video give this video a thumbs up and yes don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial